All right, it's Saturday morning and I'm just about to go to some different yard sales. I made a little list of different ones that were posted online locally, so hopefully we can find something. All right, I just left the first yard sale and I was able to pick up this iPhone 6 for $20. It was priced at 25, but the guy said he would take 20 for it. It's in pretty good shape, except for a little nick in the top right corner, but I think we can make some money on that. And also I picked up this HD camcorder for $25. It came with the mic and the cords and the bag and everything with it. Um, it's an older one, but I still think we can make some money on that. All right, I just left my third yard sale and I was able to get five Ralph Lauren polo shirts for a dollar a piece. So I think that was a pretty good deal. I just left my sixth yard sale and the only thing I got here was this set of P90X DVDs. Um, when I was looking through them, I found that there was one missing. So I told them about it and I think they gave me a better deal because of it. I got it for $2 and I think that'll be all right because if any Thing, I think we can sell them as replacement discs. I looked them up on eBay and that's what some people had done and sold them so I don't think we can lose money off of this. Just a pro tip for you guys, if y'all ever record YouTube videos um, and you're going to be talking for a while, make sure you hit the record button on your camera so the footage can be captured so you'll be able to have that footage to use for your video production. Anyways, I went to some yard sales. I went to about seven different ones. I did better in the beginning and then it kind of dwindled out. So that might have something to do with being early at the yard sales. But we also had some inventory stuff sell. So I'll talk about that first and then I'll get back into talking about what I bought at the yard sales. So I sold the napkin holders. I had them listed for $34.99 or best offer and someone just went ahead and paid the full price. Shipping was a little expensive. I pocketed around $18 after the fees and the shipping, but I'm still willing to take that. We sold a sugar jar for $19.99 and I pocketed around $9 after that. I sold some pens for $9 and then pocketed a little under $7. I sold a glass bottle for $15 after someone offered that to me. That was my mistake. I really didn't calculate the shipping and everything to go along with it, but we pocketed a whole 11 cents from that. So that's kind of unfortunate, but you live and you learn. And then lastly, the most profitable item that has sold from the Coca-Cola stuff so far was a doormat. I want to give a shout out to someone who commented on one of my videos a couple weeks back. They saw my doormat in the video and they said that they go for a good bit on eBay. I looked them up on eBay and I couldn't find that exact one that I had. So I had a little trouble pricing it, but I went ahead and put it up for $60. I was kind of expecting that to be on the high end and then I was just hoping someone would offer me a good amount, but someone just bought it for $60. So I don't know what it actually was worth. So I'm kind of hoping that I didn't price it too little but I was happy to get $60 from something that I wasn't even expecting to sell. Like I said a while back, I was grouping up some Coca-Cola items to sell locally, so I was just gonna put that with some other items and then try to sell it. So that was really nice to get that. So I'm pretty happy with what sold out of the inventory this week. Some items definitely did better than others, but overall we made a little over $75 this week just on inventory items. Now I'm gonna talk about the stuff that we got at the yard sale. So the first stop I made, I found an iPhone and a video camera. The iPhone was the first thing that I really picked up. It was priced at $25 and I heard them say that they were negotiable on their items. So I said $20 and they were happy to get rid of that. The second item I picked up was a video camera and I paid $25 for that. I struck out at some yard sales, but other than that, I was able to find five polo shirts for a dollar a piece. I was gonna list those right away, but a couple of them had little marks on them that I think I can get rid of, but if I can't, I'm just gonna list it with the marks on it and notify the buyers about it. And I also bought some P90X DVDs for $2. And if you don't know what that is, that's like one of the workout plans that you can buy in a set. And on like each DVD, there's like a different workout you can do. And those can go for quite a bit of money and people are still looking for them and buying them pretty frequently. I think what I decided to do with those was to separate them and then list them individually as replacement discs. So I got some little disc sleeves that I'll slide them in and a lot of them haven't been used. A couple of them have, but some of them have the plastic still around the discs. So I think that'll help out selling them a lot. So, so far what's sold out of those items is the iPhone and the camera. So I started the iPhone on a buy it now or best offer for a hundred dollars. And I made sure to take a picture of like the little crack that was in the corner and write it in the description and everything. And someone bought it for 70 after offering it to me. And I just sent them a message to make sure that they saw the crack on it and everything. And they said, no, I didn't see that, cancel the order. So I had to cancel the order. And I ended up putting it back on for $70 without or best offer. And I went ahead and when I was listing the item, it was asking the condition of it. And I said four parts because I actually think that's what you're supposed to do if there's a crack in it at all. 
So people that are looking at that section are expecting a broke phone. So I didn't really want someone to get it and then have to deal with somebody thinking that it was in better condition than it was. In the title, I said something like working, but has small crack. And then within a few hours, someone paid the $70 and I was able to sell it. I also think someone tried to scam me on it. When I had it listed for $100 or best offer, someone offered me like $150. I just sent them a message and I was like, do you realize you sent me an offer for $150 when you could have just bought it for $100? And they said, yeah, I just wanted to make sure I got it. But it ended up being a scam. They were saying to text them and all this stuff. It seemed really fishy. And they also had zero feedback. And I ended up sending them a message. And I was like, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm getting scammed. And they didn't respond. So I was getting scammed. Apart from all that, I think phones are actually a pretty ideal thing to sell. They're pretty easy to list because all you got to do is go to one that's like yours and then go to sell a similar item and then all the information's already there. And there's a constant demand for people looking for them. There's a lot of people that I guess want to get them and fix them or do something to them. Um, even the broken ones sell really good. So if you can even find a cracked phone, people will buy those too at the right price. Just go look at the model and then look at cracked or whatever the condition it is and see what they're selling for. The other item to sell was the video camera. I feel like I probably made a mistake with it. I set it at a $50 bid because I was having a little trouble pricing it. I started the bid at $50 with an or best offer and I think that was a mistake because I think that confuses buyers. They're thinking that I might take it for less because I got a lot of offers for less than $50. And it wasn't till towards the end where someone actually bid $50 that a couple more people bid. In my head, kind of what I was wanting to happen was that people offer more than the bid price so they could have it sooner. So I was potentially going to be able to sell it faster and hopefully for a better price. So I would say be careful with putting an or best offer feature on when you're doing an auction style listing. I don't think I'll do that again. So all in all, I think things went pretty good this week. Things are starting to get a little bit faster. I'm hoping that we can either buy something bigger or some more items that sell fast because I don't really have a problem spending a lot of money on like a phone or something like that if it's going to sell really quick. So I'm going to see what I can do this week and hopefully we can find something good.